لقد كان لكم في رسول الله أسوة حسنة لمن كان يرجو الله واليوم الآخر وذكر الله كثيرا. Okay, we'll take a few more minutes, inshallah, um, to look at final point. That we'll try to go through without much commentary. And this is yani, related to the hadith of Shu'ab al Iman, that the branches of Iman are many. Um, in Fat al Bari, the explanation of Sahih al Bukhari, Al Hafiz ibn Hajj al Askanani, he mentions yani, some discussion. I'm not going to read the whole of the discussion, but he said that some of the scholars of the past, based on this hadith, attempted to enumerate these 60 or 70 some odd branches of Iman. Some of the scholars said that this number is not what is intended, but what is intended is that, is that there are many, the branches of Iman are many. And that is also understood in the Arabic language. But some scholars said no, the Prophet some said 60 or 70 some odd branches, so they are, and we want to know what they are. Now of course this is by, yani this is ijtihad. So different scholars came up with different things, and in any case, yani the Sheikh is saying here, that I'm mentioning here what I read from some of the scholars who mention the tariqah of Ibn Hibban, rahimahullah, in enumerating these 60 or 70 some odd branches of Iman. And he said, I've summarized here what the, what the people mentioned from him, and that is that the branches of Iman, yani branch out from three sources, the actions of the heart, the actions of the tongue, and the actions of the body. So if we were to look at this carefully, and we don't have a lot of time to look at it yani, too carefully, but if we were to look at it carefully, we will see that since Iman is expressed in the heart, it's expressed on the tongue, and it's expressed by the limbs of the body. So there must be different aspects of Iman from all three of these sources. So here al hafiz ibn Hajj al-Iskalani rahimahullah mentions a summary of what yani, the scholars before him said concerning this. So he divided them up into three categories according to the tariqah of Ibn Hibban rahimahullah. And he said, the first of them is a'mal al-qalb the actions of the heart. And in it, it includes the actions of the heart, he said, includes the mu'taqadat, yani the things that we believe, our convictions, and the niyat, our intentions, is also included in the actions of the heart. Not just the other types of actions, but even our conviction, what we believe, he's saying, all of that is from the actions of the heart. Even though, yani, some of the scholars said, qawlul qalb wa amal al qalb, yani divided in qawl and amal, but here he's just putting it all together, everything related to the heart. So he said, they are, 24 characteristics. This is what Ibn Hajj said. 24 characteristics. And this is Ijtihad. So other scholars said something different, right? But he came up to yani, 69 branches. And he said if you, can, if you join some of them that we have made subdivisions, then you can come up with 79. And according to both narrations, the narration of Bukhari and the narration of Muslim. 60 some odd branches or 70 some odd branches. The first things that he mentioned is the Arkan of Iman. Believing in Allah. And that includes believing in his that, his divine being, his sifat, his qualities and characteristics, and, make, and, and, and singling him out. Yani declaring that he is alone. In, in what? In that there is nothing like him. And believing that everything besides him came into existence. And he didn't always exist. Allah is eternal. The second thing he said, believing in the angel, his angels, his books, his messengers, and the qadr, the good and the evil of it, and the Yawmul Akhir. These are the first six things that he mentioned. The Arkan of Iman. And included in believing in the last day, included in that is the questioning in the grave. And the resurrection and the gathering and the counting and the scales. The Mizan, what deeds would be weighed upon. And the Sirat that people would have to cross. And the Jannah and Naar. The, si the seventh thing he mentioned is Mahabbatullah. The eighth thing he mentioned is loving and hating for the sake of Allah. The ninth thing he mentioned is love, loving the Prophet wasallam and believing that he deserves yani, to be respected, which includes yani, praying for him, making salat upon him, and following his sunnah. The tenth thing he mentioned is ikhlas, and included in this is abandoning riya, doing things to be seen, ostentation, or nifaq. Yani, doing something outwardly, while well, that's not what's in one's heart. The eleventh and twelfth and thirteenth and fourteenth he mentioned is at tawbah al-khawf, al-raja, and al shukra yani, repentance, is from the actions of the heart. Fear, fearing Allah. Hope in Allah. Being grateful and thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wal-wafa. 
Yani that a person is, yani has allegiance and loyalty, faithfulness, fidelity, yani to whatever is pleasing to Allah. As sabr and a rida bil qada. Patience is from the actions of the heart. This is one of the actions of the heart that we are that in dire need of. Because indeed, by yani patience is one of the keys to success for the believer in this world. Pay, a, a sabr and a shukra. As the Prophet ﷺ mentioned in a number of hadith. Yani, the ajab and the amr al-mu'min. Amazing is the fear of the believer. Yani, when good comes to him, he's thankful. When other than that comes to him, he's patient. So a, a, a person, the whole of their affair will be good if they have patience and gratitude. These are from the actions of the heart. Hope in Allah. Yani sabr, rida, being pleased with what Allah has decreed. When that befalls us, which we don't like, we're pleased with it because we know it's the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet used to say, Raditu bilahi rabban, wa bil Islami deena, wa bi Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam nabiyin. I'm pleased with Allah as my Rabb. And al qada qadr and qada we said previously, what is a part of? Rububiya. Being pleased with Allah as your Rabb means being pleased with whatever befalls you, whether it's something distasteful or whatever. This is from the actions of the heart. At tawakkul reliance upon Allah, which is from the greatest of the actions of the heart. Reliance, dependence on Allah alone. Ar-Rahmah, being merciful. Being merciful. Being merciful to the people, to our families, to our children, to our spouse, to our neighbors, to our friends and everybody else. Having mercy. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described the Prophet He said, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ We have not sent you except as a rahmah. For the alameen, not just for the believers, for the alameen, rahmah in the heart of the believer. This is from the great acts of, 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 of obedience, of iman in the hearts of the believers. Rahmah, tawadu, being humble. And this means having respect for the elders and having mercy for our young. And abandoning pride and conceitedness and abandoning envy and hatred and anger. All of these are from the aspects amal al-qalb. And of course, we're going through them quickly because any time is, has run out on us. Secondly, he said, A'mal al-lisan. He only listed seven things, seven khisal. And that doesn't mean that these are the only things. This is ijtihad, right? From the A'mal of the lisan, he said, at talafud bit tawheed. Look at the seven things that he mentioned. Perhaps some of us, if we thought about the acts of the tongue that are acts of obedience, we might come up with something else. But the first thing he mentions, talafud bit tawheed. Yani expressing tawheed, la ilaha illallah. And we already said what? That this is the highest level of Iman. And it's the foundation of the deen and everything else is built upon it. And then he said, Tilawatul Qur'an. And what else could come second except? And he reciting the book of Allah. The third thing he said is quite amazing actually. Maybe we wouldn't have thought of it. He said, Ta'allum al-ilm wa ta'alimi. Yani learning knowledge and teaching it. And the Prophet ﷺ said, Khairukum man ta'allam al-Qur'an wa allamahu. Any the best of you are those who learn the Quran and teach it. He came with the third thing, learning, knowledge, and teaching it. Then he said, a dua wa dhikr, and included in that is istighfar. And he's supplicating to Allah, remembering Allah, praising and glorifying Allah, seeking forgiveness, and avoiding al-laghwi. Yani that speech which is of no benefit and doesn't have any khair in it. The last thing he said is amal al-badan, the actions, yani the actions or the works of the body. And he said this includes any 38 characteristics or qualities of Iman, the actions of the body. He divided them into three categories. That which is specific to you as an individual that you just do by yourself, any for yourself. And then he said that which is connected to al ittiba, any those who you have a connection, a direct relation to, like your family members and people, relatives and people who are close to you. And the third category he said, that which is connected to al-ama, any the general people in the society. Not specific to yourself, nor that which is to the people who are close to you, like your parents and your children and your spouse and any of your relatives and things like this. So he divided them into three categories. He said there are 38 qualities or characteristics. From that which is specific to you individually, he said there are 15. And I'm going to read them quickly. And he, from amongst them, of course, are the pillars of Iman, the five pillars of Iman, right? And then he mentions other things. We want to, the five pillars of Iman we already know, but what about the other things? So he said there are 15 specific to you as an individual. The first of them is at tatahir, hissan wa hukman, 
purification, physical purification like wudu, and non other than physical purification like tayammum, yani purification. And included in this is avoiding yani impurities, covering your aura, covering the private parts. As salat from the pillars of iman, the obligatory and the voluntary. As zakat, obligatory and voluntary. Freeing slaves. Al-Jood, yani generosity, including, including feeding people food and honoring the guests. Al-Siyam, the obligatory and the voluntary. Al-Hajj and Umrah, obligatory and voluntary. Al-Tawaf, circumambulation of the Kaaba. Al-Itikaf, yani remaining in the masjid in seclusion for the worship of Allah. Al-Iltimas, Laylatul Qadr, yani a person making an effort to seek out Laylatul Qadr, to try to be engaged in worship on the night of yani Qadr. The, the, the um, 9, 10, 11, 12th, the 12th matter he said, Al-Firaru Bid-Deen, that a person flees to save their deen. And part of this he said, is that a person migrates, yani from the land of Kufr, from the land of Shirk, yani to the land of the Muslims. Wal-Wafa bin Nadri, yani fulfilling a vow, when you make a vow. There's a hadith in which the Prophet Sallallahu said, is in Bukhari, that there are some people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can only get good out of them by a vow. Vowing, oh Allah, if you save me, if you heal me, if you give me a wife, I'll do this, is yani makru. A person shouldn't do this. Rather, you should just do good. Allah is going to do good by you. You don't have to vow, make a deal, make a bargain with Allah. But the Prophet Wasallam said, there are some people, no good will come out of them except through a vow. I'm just mentioning that as a, as a fa'idah. And you don't make vows, just do good for the sake of Allah. At tahari fil ayman, that a person be careful in swearing. Al half, al qasim, wallahi, wallahi, wallahi. Worse than that is swearing by other than Allah. Like the people in Jahili in this country do. And maybe some of the Muslims too. Yani fulfilling the kafarat, expiation. A person made a mistake or did something wrong, they have to expiate for it. Then he said, that's what he mentioned for, for the individual. He said, in, in reference to those things that are people who are related to you, he said there are six. And in all of this, the above 15 and these six are from the 38 that are related to A'mal al badin He said, those six are ta'affuf bin nikah. Yani, making an effort. Yani, through marriage to protect yourself from falling into yani, sinful behavior. al qiyam bi hukuk al-iyal. Yani, fulfilling the rights of those who are dependent upon you. Whether it is your children, your parents, your spouse, whoever is dependent upon you. al birr walidain Yani, being dutiful and kind and generous to your parents. And this includes avoiding disobedience of parents. If anybody's parents is living, even if they are not Muslim, unless they order you to do something, in disobedience to Allah, dutifulness to parents is for all parents. Whether they're Muslim or mushrik, as is clearly indicated in Surah Al-Luqman. Tarbiyat al-awlaad. Yani give, raising your children properly, silatul rahm, keeping ties with your blood relations, and the last thing he mentioned is ta'atu asada aw arifq bil abid. Yani that in the master and slave relationship, that the slave should be obedient to the master, and the master should be gentle with the slave. From those things that are related to the general society, yani the good deeds of the of actions of the Bible, the part of iman, he said there are seventeen, and this completes yani the thirty-eight of the actions of the body. He said, Al Qiyam Bil Imrati, Bil Imrati, Mal Adil. Yani for the person who has a position of authority or power, that they yani exercise it with justice. Mutabat al Jama'ah, stick into the Jama'ah. Yani the Jama'atul Muslimin, not separating yourselves. Ta'atu ul al Amra, obeying those who are in authority. Min al Muslimin. Well, Islam, and I don't mean that we shouldn't obey the laws in the land of Kufr. If we happen to be here and we can't get out of here, then we have to abide by the laws too, unless it's, they order us to do something in disobedience to Allah. He said, Islah bayn al nas, yani rectifying the affairs between the people, yani when people have disputes, fixing them. And this includes fighting against the Khawarij and the Bugat. And some of the scholars said the Khawarij are those who, in the time of Ali ibn Abi Talib, they declared the Kufr of the Hukam and they fought against yani the Muslims. They declared the hukam to be kuffar, and some of the Muslim scholars said that they were kuffar, yani because of their actions. As opposed to the Bugat are those who yani fought against the rulers, but not because of declaring them kuffar for some other reason. 
Yani in other words, fighting against those who oppose the government, the rulers. He said also, yani, working with one another in that which is good. That includes enjoying the good and forbidding the wrong. Establishing the hudud, yani, the legal punishments that Allah has made. Jihad in the way of Allah. And this also clu- includes al-murabata, yani, guarding the frontiers of the Muslim lands. And whatever else that that means, outside of the physical guarding of the Muslim lands. Yani, guarding the prayers and so on. Adal al-amana. And if you're giving a trust, fulfill it. And this includes the khumus. Yani the fifth from the spoils of war that it has to be turned over to the, to the leader of the Muslims. It's not for a person to keep. Al-qarud ma'awafa'ihi. Yani giving to the person who is, yani needs. Yani loaning to a person who's in need and the person who receives it, paying it back. Yani honoring your neighbors. Yani having good, good deals, good dealings with the people. Yani husnu al muamala with the people in the side, and this includes collecting your wealth from lawful sources, spending your wealth in its rightful places, and this includes avoiding wastefulness and extravagance. Rad the salam, yani from the rights of a Muslim and another, returning salams. Tashmit al atas, if a person sneezes and says Alhamdulillah, say Yarhamukallah, holding back, yani yourself, kaf al ada an nas, not harming the people. And ijtinab al-lahwi, yani avoiding lahu, yani the thing occupying, uh, yani occupying yourself with those things of amusement and play that have no benefit in them. And finally, he said, imatut al ada an tariq yani the lowest of the branches of iman is removing something harmful from the road. He said these are 69 qualities or characteristics of iman, um, and it is possible to count them as 79 if we include some of the things that we said are part of something else. Um, then it could be 79 Wallahu A'alamu and this is what we're going to stop with all I want to say is that yani, these, uh, these, these, this is just a, a, a quick glimpse of some of the actions yani, of the heart the actions of the tongue the actions of the limbs that are a part of Iman when in reality of course we know that the branches of Iman the things that are part of Iman the aspects of Iman include everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in the Quran or the Prophet sallallahu mentioned in the authentic hadith that is from the things that are pleasing to Allah and beloved by Allah. It includes all of that. These are just yani, aspects that some of the scholars have pointed out and brought together as, as some of what might be the branches of Iman that was intended by the Prophet sallallahu for us to think about and to reflect upon and to look at where we have fallen short. Which of these aspects of Iman we have abandoned? Which of these aspects of Iman we have not taken seriously? We have not done well with. Let us try to do a little more. I need to capture all of these aspects of Iman to the best of our ability. Let us try to do whatever we are doing of them already a little bit better. Yani let's do a little more and let's do a little better. Let's look at these things that have been mentioned here and other than that of what is in the Quran and the Sunnah and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us sincerity in trying to do that which is pleasing to Him and to make us successful in being able to do it. بإذنه تعالى سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك شهدوا أن لا إله إلا أنت استغفرك وأتوب إليك